Well, today we're on the roof again, which isn't a lot of fun if you're me, but these antenna, uh, these reflectors in the back here are just not doing it, and it's actually causing a little signal loss. I have a digital tuner with a bar graph that shows you how much your signal is and stuff, so we're going to literally take this whole assembly down to the shop, and uh, I'm going to try to solidify it a little bit, and then we'll screw it back on. Right now we've got a, a rivet holding it on in my bailing wire. <laughs> but uh, the birds like picking this one to stand on. It's the longest. This thing's a total of 12 feet long. And it's just uncomfortable to be on the roof. I'm afraid of heights. So anyway, we're going to do that here very shortly. James went to get a drill and we're going to drill this rivet out. Be back soon. All right, here's the finished product on the antenna. You can see the square box beam is the um, is the you know the center section of the antenna, and there's that round cylindrical part. Um, I machined that uh, half a little over half inch holes in each end, and all those screws holes through it, and uh, it's totally stiff as a board up there on the antenna. So it'll never fail. We're um, we're checking the TV signal right now and it seems pretty sound, but where it was sketchy was at night. So I'll check it again tonight, but it's real stable right now. And that piece of aluminum was donated to me by one of the locals. And uh, that helped a lot. So this is a lot better than that tinny stuff. I could have used a piece of steel, but it was three times heavier, so it's not worth it. But anyway, there's the end results. I should have shot it while I was up there, but being on the roof is just too scary. Anyway, that's it for now. See you, bye.